All right, this is grade three, module two, lesson four, where we are going to be using the number line to answer time elapsed kinds of questions, word problems that, that are really kind of tricky if we were going to use kind of the standard clock, uh, but made simpler if we use a number line. And so we're going to focus on that number line aspect of time. So here's an example. Cole starts uh, reading at 6.23 p.m. and he stops at 6.49. How many minutes does Cole read? So we're going to draw a number line here and we know that 6.23, so way over here is 6 o'clock and we know way over here would be like perhaps 7 o'clock. So 6.23, so let's count by 5. So we know right in the middle is 6.30. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then that would be 60, but it switches over to 7 o'clock. So there's our, there's our timeline. And if we want to indicate where 623 is, so we've got, uh, let's see, we know that right here is 5, so 605, 10, 15, 20. So this guy right here is our 20. 20. So that's our 20. But then we need to go three minutes more. So we know between 20 and 25, there's going to be four tick marks because that gives us five minutes. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, right? So there's our five minutes. And 623 would be 620, 20. 620, 621, 622, 23. So there's 623 right there. Right there. So that's 623. So I'm going to put a big old dot right there. And then it says he stops at 649. So in kind of the same fashion, we've got to figure out where 649 is. So... Here's uh, 630, 35, 40, 45, 50. So um, there we go. So we're going to zoom in between the 45 and the 50. We're going to use four tick marks. One, two, three, four, five. So that creates our five minutes. And 649 would be right here at this big old dot right here at 6. 49. And the big question is they want to know how many minutes did Cole read? So really we're being asked to figure out how many minutes is it from this tick mark all the way to this tick mark. So let's figure it out. And it's it can be messy. There's a variety of ways to do it, but let's do it uh, kind of using this number line. We know to go from here to here is two minutes. So I'm going to put a little plus two. And then to go from the 25 to the 30 is five minutes. And then from here to here is another five. From here to here is another five. From here to here is another five. So we have from the 25 to the 45, we can count five, 10, 15, 20. So that right there indicates 20 more minutes. Then we jumped one, two, three, four more minutes. So that gets us to 649. So all together, we traveled two minutes plus 20 minutes plus four minutes. So that gives us 26 minutes. So Cole read for 26 minutes. Is that the only way to model this on the number line? No way. But we're really trying to show students the number sense and the meaning behind all this stuff before students start developing more, far more efficient techniques. But we want them to develop an understanding first. Then the efficiency comes later. All right, so Natalie finishes piano practice at 2.45 after having practiced for 37 minutes. Uh, what time does Natalie's practice start? All right, so we're going to model this on a number line. 
And uh, this time I'm going to do more of an empty number line. I'm not going to label the hours on either end. I'm just going to put 245. And I'm going to say, oh, let's say 245 is right here. So there's 245. And then it says, that's the end. That's when she finished. So I'm going to put an F. Now we need to figure out where she began. And she began 37 minutes earlier. So that means we're going to go backwards in time. So if we go backwards 10 minutes, that puts us at 2.35. If we go backwards another 10 minutes, that puts us at 10, I mean 2.25. If we go backwards another 10 minutes, that puts us at 2.25. 15, except I want to do that in black, 215, right here. Now we need to go backwards, so that's 30 minutes total. We need to go backwards seven more minutes. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that puts us this, right here, is our beginning time. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So that's 14, I mean 15 is right here. And each one of these hops means we're going to go back by one minute. So um, that puts this line as 214, 213, 212, 11, 10, 9, 8. So there's our time. It's 208. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to write. 208. There's 208. And so the question is what time did Natalie's practice start at? It started at 208. And our last problem for this video uh, Dion walks to school. The clocks show when he leaves and when he arrives. Uh, how many minutes did it take Dion to walk to school? So the first thing we have to do is identify that this clock, this clock on the left here, uh, says that he started his walking, so he left his house at seven minutes and thirty, or seven hours and thirty-seven minutes. So seven thirty-seven. You might want to pause the video and verify that that's you understand that how we got seven thirty-seven. And when did Dion arrive at school? Well, he still arrived within that 7 o'clock hour, because we haven't quite reached the 8 o'clock hour, and it looks like it's 7.56. And now our task is to figure out, well, how many minutes did it take him to walk? So I'm going to use these two times on a number line here. So I'm going to just call that 7.56, and way down here I'm going to call that 7.37, and our job is to figure out how many minutes is it from one to the other. So I'm going to use more of an empty number line technique. This is not the official uh, way that Engage New York was talking about, but uh, just trying to provide variety here. So at 737, I know that if we go three more minutes, one, two, three, that's going to put us right here at 740. And then, if I go 10 minutes, I'm going to jump from here to here. That's 10 minutes. So that gives a, that puts us at 7.50. And then, if I go 6 more minutes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that puts us directly at 7.56. So, how many minutes did Dion walk? Well, he walked... These three minutes from here to here, he walked 10 minutes from here to here, and he walked six minutes from here to here for a total of 19 minutes. So Dion walked a total of 19 minutes. Uh, is that the only way to have modeled this on a number line? Absolutely not. There's a variety of other ways to do it. I just wanted to show one way that was a little bit different than what is in the Engage New York book. Not totally different. And that is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 4.